Hey everyone, welcome back to another thrift store find video. This is the eighth video and today we are back with some interesting finds. So first off, here we have a Univan accessory handset which didn't find a base for but I believe I can connect it to some base but I still uh, didn't get successful with that. Let me just open the back to cover. This is the model number DXAI8580 and it's kind of a nice phone. It has a speaker phone but it sounds like a, a piezo speaker phone. Also let's plug in uh, the battery. from this phone yeah so I tried registering this to a 5.8 I also got from the thrift store but mm, don't know how to go into the registration settings so if you can help that would be amazing so here let's listen to the ringers My personal favorite is the ringtone uh, type D, uh, type C because of the ringer style that it has. It's similar to the office phones. Okay, next phone that we have, it's not a phone actually. It's a answering machine from AT&T. And I've owned this model pre previously. But this one, the packaging of this one is different, and the logo on it, it's basically mm, just a logo, not a writing of AT&T. And it was open box. This was not bought from the thrift store, and uh, I just bought it locally. For 25, uh, yeah, maybe cheaper. Maybe for 20, 22 Canadian dollars. It was worth it because this is $39 in here. Okay, so that's the AT&T 1740 uh, stream system. If you watched my first videos, I basically had this answering system. But there were some things different about it. First, the adapter. Second, the logo. The logo, as you can see here, it's basically just a logo on the running of AT&T on it. Which, it's not really a big deal for me, but I personally seem to like the writing of AT&T on it. But, yeah. Works fine, and I love it. And also, it has the peel here. I'm gonna use this answering system in future setups. Probably not in this current setup because uh, first, don't have the place. Second, uh, I need to figure out which phones I need to connect with this. Okay, let's plug in the adapter. It uses a uh, six volt AC. I don't know what's the deal with these uh, products with these uh, heavy adapters or transformer adapters which they take AC instead of DC previous one uh, that I had took DC and it was the thinner adapter anyways it's interesting for me now let's buy this in Plug in, and uh, what you can't see, unfortunately. Here, let me just straighten the phone at this uh, at this point, so you can just see it correctly. Here, okay. Okay, let's remove the peel. Here, satisfying feeling. 
and uh, let's see how this works. I don't know why you know, I included this uh, in the thrift store find video. I guess it was because uh, it was in the same day and uh, it was in the like same adventure. Anyways, here we are. We unboxed this and the machine is off. The machine is on. 60 minutes to record. The beep seems clearer in my opinion. The other one I had uh, was not clear at all. You can compare these uh, again. Okay, let's check out the setting. Language is English. To change the setting, press skip or repeat. To accept and continue setup, press number of ranks is four. To change the setting, press skip three, four. Yeah, four is enough for now. Remote access code is 19. To announcement monitor is on. Number announce is off. To store caller number is off. To change the setting, press mm. skip or repeat. On. Accept blocked calls is on. To change off. Message alert is off. To change on. Off. Uh, number announce. I want that on. Language. Number of remote access. Announcement monitor. Number announce is off. On. Store. Okay. Let me just open the window here. Wait. Some pressure. Okay. Let's uh, change the time. Friday, 10.35 a.m. 2015. To set the clock, press clock. Friday. To change the day, press skip or repeat. Saturday. It's Saturday? 10 a.m. To 10. change the hour, press skip or repeat. Well, it's to the opposite. accept and continue, it's press clock. 9, 8, 5 a.m. 4, 3, 12, 11, 10 p.m. 35. To change the... 30, 30, 30, 40... 2015, 2016, 2017, 2019, 2000, 2000, 2023, Saturday, 10, 40 p.m., 2023. Wait, so the time is set up now, and uh, let's listen to the announcements. Announcement, press announce to record, or press play to play. An interesting thing is that the speaker quality seems to be better than the previous one that I had. Because, or maybe this was only a uh, manufacturing problem on that one. That one seemed to have a buzzing sound whenever like it was distorted kind of. And maybe it's, it was because the speaker was misplaced. And uh, yeah, this one just sounds better. Announce. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Okay. Now let's record a memo. Record after the tone. Press stop when you are done. This is a message that I'm recording from a normal distance. Now this is a message I'm recording through the fake microphone here. This is the real one. Yeah, there's nothing on the top. Okay. Let's replay that message. Saturday, 10, 40 p.m. This is a message that I'm recording from a normal distance. Now this is a message I'm recording through the fake microphone here. This is the real one. Yeah, there's nothing on the top. Okay. End of messages. To delete, messages deleted. It picks up too many noise and interference of the surroundings. And, uh, yeah, just the microphone picks up too much noise rather than picking up the normal voice. Unfortunately, here we are stuck with a uh, like cord that it's already plugged in and you can't remove it. 
because for my test line I have my own code so it means I need to open my lines drawer and then connect this to one of the line ports one of the empty phone line ports here I just connect it to PABX97 and let's call it with this one the beef I'm impressed really impressed okay let's play the message Saturday 10 42 p.m. 5 5 1 2 0 0 hello I'm recording a message to tell you that this answering system works fine yeah and now if we have a feedback quick show I should end the call soon end of messages to del messages deleted can't say it records uh, greatly or fine, but it does the thing that it needs to do. And the 16 minutes recording time, it's basically one of the pros of the Sandstream system. But can't tell a lot or just talk about the audio quality, doesn't have anything to present, I think. And it needs to improve. It's terrible, kind of. Okay, off to the next item, because I think we are now done with this. I'm just going to close the drawer here for the phone lines. Unplug this thing, and then off to the next item. I'm just going to repack this real quick. But if you guys saw the first video, uh, the second video or first video, I don't remember. Yeah, probably it was the first video on this channel. If you see that video, I kind of liked this answering system. It was a nice one and basically a good one, a, re a reliable one, which you can use. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just pack this and then up to the next one. And for the phone code here. I'm just gonna use the thing they gave us here for this one. Great, so this is packed, and uh... great. Up to the next item, here we have a basically mystery box from Panasonic which has a lot of mixed stuff in it. Let me just zoom out for you guys. Basically here we have a base and the handsets are not like the original handsets for the base are not available. And I just took some random handsets which seem to work with this phone. And I'm amazed. So this is the Panasonic X TG6671 C. C stands for Canadian. And uh, yeah, this is a Panasonic X TGA. Uh, can't see, let me just come closer to the display. 470C 
and we have two of these handsets here two of these which is the Panasonic KX TGA 410C and this is the second one one of these has the batteries inside of it and uh, yeah we're just gonna donate the batteries but I think the batteries on the one that has batteries in it are corroded so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do I basically chose this unit because I've never seen something similar to this one before the base is kind of interesting and uh, the handsets these ones never seen before it's so similar to the 3721 but basically with uh, deck 6 frequency and different operating system and different ringers it basically has the five uh, classic ringers that we hear all over the place basically most of the Panasonic phones in America have those ringtones okay I've also factory resetted all the handsets here so it's basically like a brand new unit if I could just somehow move this backwards and zoom out and uh, somehow do something like that and maybe kind of zoom in so you don't have to see any yeah I think this works I had planned to move the recording place to somewhere else but kind of need some planning to do with that I'm satisfied with the workplace here so don't think that I'm not satisfied okay uh, the two batteries that we need so first hand handset is probably this one because it's it's more like they match kind of oh and I don't know if I mentioned this but this one has talking card right here and I believe it's the second generation engine which it's the engine that makes the pronunciation mistakes and it's a great talking car ID engine for the phones that basically you want to record the talking car ID videos of. Okay, the first handset is here. Let's check out the intercom. Really like the long light here. And uh, this base is kind of similar to the KXTGF 872's base. Basically, uh, the screen size are the same, but the fonts, somehow, they are kind of slightly different, and the base software is different. But yeah, we have the same ringers, the volume. Yeah, so we have some ringer volumes here, and uh, it goes... The level goes up to 8, and we have like the same ringer for every Panasonic phones. And yeah, these uh, these are the basic setups here. The base doesn't have a lot of setups. The base has speed dials, it has the older answering system voice. No message. Which I'm really happy about. And the handset. The ringers. Yeah, and also the volume goes up to seven uh, things, seven lines, seven levels. It has a volume uh, side key for that reason. Okay, uh, let's, yeah, we did that intercom thing. Let's plug in the line and give this a test call. Sorry, I'm a little tired and I just recorded this video straight after I came back from the store. Okay. Yeah, mine is plugged in. Let's give this a call. Why? Here. Doesn't show the color ID because of the frequency. Hello. 
open one. This is a text message on this phone, which I currently don't remember the model number of. But yeah, we'll see how it sounds. And again, the beeping freak show. Okay, we have a message alert here, which I'm happy about. A new message here for us. So let's play it from the base. One new message. Hello everyone. This is a test message on this phone, which I currently don't remember the model number of. But yeah, we'll see how it sounds. End of final message. No message. Okay, works fine. And I'm happy about it. Great phone. Now, let's go to the next handset. I want to show you how they work too. Yeah, this one's the one with the batteries. The batteries are, they seem kind of corroded. But I'll see if they take any charge. Let's, let's see it now. Obviously, I can't move the camera. But I will put it in the charger and see if... It does anything. I didn't put it in the two months. Yeah, it does nothing. The batteries are basically destroyed. So I think I will be needing some new pack of batteries for this set. And these batteries need to go to garbage. And let's use my trusty batteries. Okay, uh, the back rating is orange, obviously. Don't expect too much from these phones that look like this. And, uh, but they have a bigger screen, which I like. Fingers are the same as this one. But it seems this one has a better speaker. Yeah. Nothing much on it. Let's ring this up. Also has a visual reader. Yeah. Okay. All of them work. They are basically just the same. But since you want to see how they work. Great. Uh, what did it fall? Where is it? Okay. Here. Now it's six, ten, twenty. Wait, what? Six, ten, twenty three. Time 11 p.m. Okay, 11 p.m. And call this up. Yeah, it rings normally. Okay, let's go to the next set up here okay i'll pause the video everyone the next product is a general electric answering system which currently i do not have the adapter for and takes nine volts ac which it's a bummer kind of so up to the next product here we have a unidem 5.8 kilohertz uh, D, uh, it, the model number is DXI5586-2. The box is beaten up, but it works and it's new. Like, the handsets are new, basically, and the batteries, amazingly enough, are inclu included. And I'm so happy about that. So, here are 
the handsets. Let's just slide them out real quick. I might just place this here to charge overnight because I want the battery to be charged and I want to see how it works. But I will test it now to see how it works. Okay, this is the uh, second charging cradle, the foam cord, and this is the adapter. Okay, so the base. Oh, and yes, I was trying to connect the unit and foam the handset to this base. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, this is the base. Slim and nice. I love it. The charging uh, cord for the second handset or the cradle. This is the charging cradle itself. And yeah, just close this. Oh, and we have the batteries here too. If I want to charge this overnight, it would be great for that. Yeah, these are the batteries. These are new. And I'm amazed that they included this finally. Usually they include stuff for the phones that are in the box. So, there's an instruction on the battery, which is interesting. I'm keeping this. Yeah, I'm keeping this. It's, it's nice. Okay. Okay, and now I will just plug this in with the adapter here. I'll move this to first turn on then test it then let it charge overnight so I can see how it works and the batteries could charge okay oops okay this goes in here like that and uh, Actually, it goes in like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's see which one is the first answer. So we can put this temporary battery in it. Yeah, this is the answer number one. Okay. Wait. Uh, close the cradle. The cover. It's new and it works fine. I'm so amazed. So amazed. Okay, uh, plugging in this phone now. Great. So this is on, and for the second handset, I'm just going to use this battery here and let it charge. Great. And the second adapter here. Here, here's a sticker. Interesting. Which kind of blocks the way to plug in the stuff. But also, I think it was like it's genuine. Okay. Plug 
Yep, it's charging. And uh, great. Put these two there. Probably will use this in a future setup. Let's see first. And here is a sticker behind these phones. This one has a low battery, so we are gonna test this stuff here on this handset. So first, let's go to the menu and see which settings do we have here. I didn't find a setting for the ringers and uh, kind of bummer. It uses the clatter ringtone for the default ringer, but I don't know how to find the other ones. Kind of a bummer, actually. Like, I don't know if I go in here or here. Where can I find the ring here? But, yeah. Okay, let's bring this up. I hope it doesn't make a lot of noise. Because these are piezo stickers, uh, speakers. And they're gonna make a lot of noise. Okay, I'm just gonna ring them for a second and then end the call. Okay. So this one's charging and this one has the flicker ringtone which didn't find the setting to change it, unfortunately. Yeah, this is an amazing phone. Uh, now I'm gonna let it to charge and I'm gonna end this video and plug in this battery and then use this phone in future setups and see how it will turn out. Okay, everyone, I thank you all for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.